Are you easily distracted? Have trouble getting organised? Feel like you're driven by a motor? A long list of symptoms like these could point to ADHD. We caught up with ADHD coach Lou Brown to find out about her own personal experience with it. Lou, thanks so much for joining me today. I think this is a fascinating topic, ADHD. Uh, can you tell us how you came about finding out that you had it? I guess it was when my son was diagnosed. I had been diagnosed with being hyperactive when I was a child and they thought you grew out of it. And then when Jack was diagnosed, the GP said to me, you know that you know, adults get diagnosed as well. And I was like, what? You know, like I thought you grew out of it, obviously. And she said, no, they've actually found that adults can have ADHD too. I think you should probably go get assessed. There were heartbreaking things, like I would go to school and I would see kids um, starting to ignore him and walk away from him. And it actually triggered feelings in me because I remember the same things. That set me on the journey of wanting to find out as much as I could about ADHD. And as I was learning, I could start to see myself in the picture. I thought, I need to make sure his outcomes are different. I know that he's going to have challenges and struggles and that life with ADHD is not necessarily easy, but I don't feel like he's going to have my old life. I feel there's hope there and that we're doing really well. I guess a lot of people have a misconception of what ADHD is. We think it's the naughty child running around like crazy, but it's not just that, is it? I can really confidently say that my son has combined type of ADHD and he is not naughty. Things that they can display can look like that, but it's basically due often to impulsivity or not being able to focus and things, so they miss half the messages. So if they're at the table, you know, playing Lego and they say, come to dinner, the fact that they ignore you looks like, well, appear to ignore you, looks like they're being naughty or rude. So sometimes you can't focus and concentrate, especially when you're bored, things are tedious, not interesting. But the other side to that is when you are really interested, you can't disengage from what you're actually doing and you go down like this, almost this tunnel of being so hyper-focused that you're stuck there. They don't have the regulation capacity to, you know, to pause, to, to stop, to actually think about the consequences, to remember and to even remind themselves in their, with their working memory that I can come back to this. I think due to working on this show, it kind of makes you look at yourself a little bit more, being surrounded with psychologists and researchers researchers that know a lot about this stuff. So I actually discovered this year that I, at 43, have been diagnosed with ADHD as well, not knowing my whole life. But everything you're saying just makes perfect sense. It's funny, when I, I fessed up to my husband, I said, you know what, I've been doing some research and I think I might have ADHD. He goes, duh, I've lived with you for how many years? <laughs> and it does manifest so differently in everybody. We're not all the same. It can have different presentations for different people. It can look differently in lots of different people, but the struggle's the same. You know, I've got your mobile phone now, so I'll be on speed dial as I'm going through this journey to Lou, my ADHD coach in Perth. <laughs> so thank you for making the way over here. It's been a really insightful. Well, it's lovely to meet you, Angie.